Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. We know that sum of the angles of a triangle, say the triangle is ABC, then sum of the angles is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us try to find the sum of the interior angles of this quadrilateral. Notice that it is a convex quadrilateral and we are going to deal with only convex polygons. To find the sum of the angles, let us draw a diagonal and divide this quadrilateral into two triangles. Say we draw BD. Now we have triangles ABD and BCD. Then clearly we know that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees in our quadrilateral ABCD and angle 6 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is also 180 degrees. Let us add these two equations. On adding, we get 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 360. Now look at left hand side. Angle 1 is same as angle A. Let us write it. That means angle A plus angle 6 is angle C. So let us write angle C. Angle 2 plus angle 5. Angle 2 plus 5 is this complete angle. That is angle B. So let us write angle B instead of 2 plus 5. Similarly, angle 3 plus 4 will make angle D. So, we combine 3 and 4 and write angle D and it is equal to 360 degrees. Hence, we have proved that sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Similarly, if we have a pentagon, we can draw diagonals from one of the vertices and divide the pentagon into three triangles and hence calculate the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon a, B, C, D, E. Let us start with triangle A, E, D. Then angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 should be equal to 180 degrees. Mark this equation as 1. Now take triangle a, D, C. Then angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Let us mark this equation as second. In triangle A, B, C. Angle 7 plus angle 8 plus angle 9 
is equal to 180 degrees. Mark this as 3. Now adding equations 1, 2 and 3 we get this following expression. Now let us see. Angle 1 is same as angle E. Angle 2 plus 5 plus 8 will make angle A. So we have rearranged and put them together. We had 2, 5 and 8. Next angle 3 plus 4 will make angle D. 3 plus 4 is making angle D. 6 plus 7 will make angle C. And 9 will make angle B. So let us put the values. This is angle E plus angle A plus angle D plus angle C plus angle B is equal to 540 degrees. That is we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E is equal to 540 degrees and we have proved that sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. Hence in general we can say that if there is a polygon of n sides where n is greater than or equal to 3, we can cut it into n minus 2 triangles with a common vertex and so the sum of its interior angles is n minus 2 into 180 degrees. Let us check for n equal to 4. n equal to 4 means that we have a polygon of four sides that means it is a quadrilateral then it will have n minus two triangles that means four minus two triangles that means two triangles it will have and sum of its interior angles is equal to 2 into 180 degrees that is equal to 360 degrees. So now we are in a position to find the sum of the interior angles of any polygon by putting in this formula. Let us try to find out the sum of the measures of exterior angles of a polygon. Let us try to understand exterior angles. Take a line AB. Draw a angle through B. Then let us mark it C then angle 1 is called the interior angle and if we extend line AB then angle 2 is called exterior angle let us take this pentagon and try to draw all its exterior angles after extending the sides we get exterior angles 1 Similarly extending PC we get 2, likewise we get 3, 4 and 5. 
now it remains to find sum of exterior angles that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5. Let us imagine that we start at A and walk along AB. On reaching B, we need to turn through an angle 1 and walk along PC. When we reach C, we need to turn an angle 2. Then we have to walk along D. Then at D we turn at angle 3 and walk along E. Then we turn angle 4 and walk along EA and finally reach point A which is at angle 5. Hence we can see that in moving in this fashion we have made one complete turn and one complete turn means we have completed 360 degrees and we state that the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. Let us read the question. Find the measure of x in the figure. We know that sum of exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. So, x plus 90 plus 50 plus 110 should be equal to 360. These are all degrees. This implies that x plus 250 degrees should be equal to 360 degrees that means x is equal to 360 degrees minus 250 degrees this implies x is equal to 110 degrees let us read the question Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose each exterior angle has a measure of 45 degrees. We know that total measure of all exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees and measure of each exterior angle is 45 degrees. So, the number of exterior angles is equal to 360 divided by 45, which comes out to be 8. Hence, the polygon has eight sides.